Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Glaipian Wisdom, but you can call me Glaze Glaive for short. And we are jumping right back into Harvest Moon One World and this is going to be part three. I have been playing this game off on my own so that I can keep unlocking content and then coming back to actually recording it and then showing you guys all the fun things I've learned as well. Uh, but also unlocking some new stuff while we're recording. As you can possibly notice if you're really good at paying attention to details, our little family back here has actually grown. Um, this little guy <laughs> finally got here, and I know my camera's super angry because there's really bright sunlight back there, but how adorable is this little guy? Look at him! He is He's got the fluffiest butt. <laughs> but yeah, it's the Harvest Moon One World little uh, Chimkin plush. For you guys who know, I love saying the word Chimkin because it's fun and it's wholesome. But this thing, oh my gosh, this Chimkin is so soft, you guys. But uh, yeah, he came in the mail yesterday and I'm super, super excited about him. So he's going to join our little family back here. And they're all going to hang out with us and also play the game. <laughs> I'm wholesome that way. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get started. Alright, guys. So I have actually been playing for quite some time. Spring is almost over in the game, if you can believe it. So, our really relaxing nighttime music just started. <laughs> it's like super chill. I adore it so much. I've been trying to find more watermelon seeds because, okay, fun fact, I've discovered the next area and it is brutal. Uh, my character walked right into the area and immediately passed out and it looked like a desert biome. So just so you guys know, <laughs> You're gonna pass out. It's automatic, it's part of the cutscene, and we met the most sweet, adorable, handsome man, and I will show you guys him eventually here. Probably in today's recording, I think would be nice to show you guys what I've discovered. But uh, yeah, and it was just a really sweet way that you meet this individual. Uh, the They come from a very arid desert land, and they don't have much as a people. And so they take it really seriously when a visitor comes to visit because they don't want people to feel like they are not welcome. So they like to put on a very extravagant, very amazing welcoming party. And if they aren't prepared to receive a guest, they don't want those guests to be arriving. And so our savior, our little hero, who took us in and made sure that we were safe and we didn't get heat stroke and die. Unfortunately, he gets kind of uh, yelled at and he is expected to present three whole watermelons for your welcoming party. And I thought it was really adorable because it was a big cultural thing for this character to break. But they did it for us so that we didn't get sick and we didn't die. Also, there is a tiger. <laughs> Just so you know, it's a jaguar. That's why it doesn't have stripes. I feel really bad. I'm so dumb. I didn't... I didn't pay attention. <laughs> Don't judge me too harshly. <clears throat> I have built up our little guy enough so that when it's time to go, I'll be giving him an egg corn and we'll be able to uproot the house. The only reason why I haven't uprooted the house here is because I actually really, really, really like this particular location and I don't think that I want to leave it just quite yet. Um, I was playing a little bit of this on the weekend and for those of you who watched the video, you might have noticed that I harvested black carrots. So you can unlock varieties. I haven't really gotten all that into paying attention to what I'm doing and where I'm planting things. So perhaps the reason why we got black carrots is because we placed it in this plot of land. Uh, maybe there's 
like some secret to it and if we had used our previous plot of land that we moved from that it would have been a normal carrot and I don't know if I've had I think I've had one normal carrot that I've harvested I'm just trying to make use of this extremely huge plot of land because this one is really really unique I haven't actually seen any other plots of land this big yet but that doesn't mean they don't exist <laughs> Right, so we have to put these guys away. <clears throat> it won't let me put these guys Oh, the acorn's probably food-based, that's why. Because you can eat it! Silly, silly me. Um, I'm just going to put a couple things away in here. <clears throat> My allergies are kind of crummy today, guys. I hope you all are well. I hope things are going really well in your life. Um... <clears throat> I actually just hit a big weight loss goal of mine. I just found out this morning. Uh, so that was a pleasant surprise. I just muted myself so you guys don't have to hear me clear my nasty throat. <laughs> I've been uh, attempting to drink more water because if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you know that I have actually been trying to do voiceover, like practice and acting and being able to take some lessons. So today after I record is gonna be a very busy day. I will be making a quiche because I haven't made quiche in a while. So I'm gonna make a mushroom, spinach and feta quiche. I don't get a lot of time to cook, but I love cooking. I love baking. It's just between my job and my hobbies and my workouts, I don't really get a lot of time to do it. Um, my friend is a personal trainer and he basically told me that it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I can still get my gains in my workouts he actually recommended the frozen healthy choice meals and some of you might be like oh my god frozen meals Ugh, horrible uh don't judge actually the healthy choice frozen meals are pretty good they're super cheap for the portions you get the portion sizes are really good and the other really good thing is it has a decent amount of protein and it also has a decent amount of vegetables so that's a really big deal to me <laughs> because trying to get enough vegetables in the day probably is my biggest challenge. Fruit too, I'm doing a little bit better by like picking things that are in season, whether it's citrus or other things that I can actually consume. So as far as citrus goes, I really love clementines. Uh, some people call them uh, cuties because there was like a brand called cuties back in the day, but yeah. All right, so we are gonna feed our animals here. It's really nice. It's just kind of automatic. I'm going to pet him and I am going to brush him. And this horse, his name is Lucky. Here is my Chimpkin, which I've called Chimpkin. <laughs> like, how cute. I can't wait until he's a full grown Chimpkin. Uh, we have to actually ride Lucky over to the town because I'm so sorry, Lucky. You're trying to enjoy your food. You'll get there. Um, we're trying to, I'm trying to show you that it is capable. You can actually plant things. I'm going to actually grab some fruit tree seeds because the, it just seems like the most appropriate place to put them. <laughs> and once they grow, I don't think you have to keep watering them. As far as I know, you just kind of wait. So it looks like we've got six plots here. And I don't think I actually recorded and showed you guys this but I found the harvest spring. I can't remember, it's been so long. I've been so all over the place this weekend with getting things done and doing recordings. So we're gonna come on down here and the music changes, it's really, really pretty. And you can see that this is where those medallions are gonna go and there's like this whole area around here I can't take Lucky through. I could walk through that easily and there's just a waterfall back there and then we have this which is broken and we haven't had anything yet. I haven't had anything that I've put down there yet so that is kind of what we're looking at over here. So if you haven't discovered it yet already 
that is where you're gonna find the harvest goddess spring all right so six of these little guys because I haven't actually planted any fruit trees I'm still looking for watermelon seeds so I can help that wonderful wonderful uh, guy who was our hero and be able to help him get his watermelons because we offered to help him get watermelons <laughs> we're like yeah sure we, we messed you up so I'm sorry that you're not eating lucky I'll get you food I promise I'll bring you back and then I'll just let you eat <laughs> I feel so mean poor lucky he's like I just wanted some of my food and then you just dragged me out here but whatever but yeah our field back at the previous place is still growing and now you guys can see kind of why I wanted to actually have the horse the horse was such a great investment I've actually been able to gather more I've been able to do more and so I do not regret having gone and gotten the horse before I got any other livestock. It was the best investment I could have made for myself. <laughs> you guys are giving me all these carrot seeds. Where's the watermelon? That berry sells for a lot, actually. And it kind of looks like the one that we're supposed to get from the goddess. Hmm. All right. We also have to go look at Halo Halo and we have to check in with the super adorable surfing fisher guy because he, I think that's when we move on to our like next step of the whole unlocking. I'm assuming what's going to be a lighthouse and I'm really excited. I hope you guys get to see the spirit that was for unlocking the first town because he and or she, they, were so cute. And they reminded me of Vite, who as you guys all know is, I'm obsessed with Vite. Vite is so wholesome and so cute. And she's one of my favorites. It is already 5 p.m. in the game. Darn. We still need to go get those seeds. So let's drop by and get those seeds before we go to our plot of land. And then I have to get poor Lucky back home because I was terrible and took Lucky away from having food. <laughs> I'm a terrible owner. <laughs> All right, so I have quite a bit of gold, so I wanna invest in something like really good. We do need like ginkgo, we need ginkgo wood to build a new bridge. So I'm really tempted to actually build one of these for now, actually. <clears throat> But at the same time, I really want to get the food. So actually, I'm going to take back what I said. I'm going to get, we're going to get the ginkgo plant. <clears throat> the reason why is we need those ginkgo leaves to unlock probably a huge portion of the map. And I am genuinely curious to see what that is specifically. I probably, I, I might try still, but I probably won't do any voiceovers today for the characters, you guys. Oh, that disappeared because it's late. Um, just because I do have voiceover lessons today, you guys, and I don't want to strain my voice. Oh no, they all died, finally, okay. I was here the day before and I watered everything, but I'm guessing that if you're not here maybe the fur like the fertile land isn't as nice i also know that a lot of these plants were not supposed to be planted here apparently so let's pick up our mess because we're not savages and i did a quest where you had to get glass panels for the girl that blonde haired lady who i forgot her name because i'm a terrible person and i forget people's names all the time um <laughs> So you're supposed to get stuff for her, but then I could never enter her house. I don't know if there's like a series of her just not being available and it just perfectly lined up with that or if this was something that was like a bug because every time I had the glass in my inventory, I could not go talk to her. But whenever I didn't have the glass on me at that time, and this was after I moved this house super far away. <laughs> then she was available. 
So that is something I want to get off my person. We unfortunately do not have enough stamina to safely take care of those ginkgo trees today. I'm very disappointed in that, but it is what it is. And we're going to not pass out because usually your character gets really sick and no. Oh no. Oh no. I literally just said we weren't going to pass out. Ah. So mad at myself. Oh no. Oh my god. You toppled over suddenly, so I was worried. Don't work so hard and you run out of stamina. <coughs> See, this is what I was worried about. Now we're. Ugh. Look at that face. That, like, I'm gonna die face. And now our stamina is gonna run out so much quicker, you guys. I hate it. Oh man, I don't think I've actually, like, cultivated a pineapple before yet. Okay, our priority for today is going to be those trees first. Those trees are coming first. Oh, look, we got a... Oh, no, her bag is full. How is her bag full? Do we have a lot of seeds? Yeah, we do. All right. <clears throat> we can make compost now. Pineapples don't sell for as much as some of these other guys do. It's really interesting to me. By the way, pineapple is not a native fruit to Hawaii. If you guys ever want to know the true story behind pineapple, it will horrify you. They did a horrible, horrible thing by the people of Hawaii. I'm just saying, my one of my friends is Hawaiian and I know better than to think that pineapple is native. The Dole Company, Way back in the day. I'm not saying currently, so I'm just not slandering Dole or anything, but the Dole company back in the day was a monster. <laughs> they basically, oh, anyway, you guys should really familiarize yourself and we as the United States really need to do a better job of teaching history better. But that's not, this is not a history channel. I'm just talking out loud. That's just how my mind works. But yeah. Go check out Hawaii's real history, you guys. You'll be very, um, <clears throat> surprised. <laughs> I think that after today, like, we'll go and we'll take it easy. We won't take the horse because I feel like I'm being mean to the horse. No, we'll take the horse. He'll have time to eat by the time we finish these trees. But I'm going to do these trees. I'm going to water the plants. We're going to go move on to the next mission at this location. And then we're going to probably by that point rest so our character doesn't get sick because the desert, the desert as well as really cold places actually drains your stamina faster. I almost planted that. I would have been so angry at myself. Yes, that's what we want. <clears throat> yes. I need to switch over to water and tea later today. I cannot be drinking as much coffee. In fact, actually, I haven't been drinking as much coffee. <gasps> no, stop, no, no. Okay. Oh my God, I thought we were gonna chop it down. I thought I had to water it. You do not have to water trees. <clears throat> the ginkgo wood is too hard for our current ax, so I feel like I might have made a mistake. Oh my God, it's 4 p.m. My character slept in. Oh no. Uh, we're not going to be able to do the things we wanted to do today. I, this is why I hate when the characters pass out. It always goes horrible. Horrible. Let's pray that we can at least get things watered and then we are going straight to bed. Straight to bed. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't pass out from watering things because we got to get this done. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> so this is basically what's going to happen to you guys if you do not take care of yourself you will pass out your character does not like it you will wake up later in the day so you'll miss a ton of time and on top of everything it'll be like quick 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 drainage of your stamina on top of everything all right so we have saved our game. 
So that way I have no more drama. Mmm. Those hibiscus flowers are where it's at, man. But I really need more watermelon seeds and I cannot remember for the life of me where I was picking them up. Because we were planting those watermelon seeds back at the previous plot land, so it definitely was somewhere close to there. There's probably other places you could get it. I'm just like, I need it right now. But I'm gonna take my time. <clears throat> so depending on how you do things and how you like to do things, usually what I'll do is I'll take care of the crops first thing in the morning. It's out of habit because in previous Harvest Moon games, if you did not actually water your crops before a certain time, they took like this damage. I can't remember when that started. It was like, gosh, how long ago was that one? It's been a while. But yeah, you'd have to like water your stuff or else it would get crispy in the sun. And we actually, speaking of, are in the third day of summer here in the game. So that's actually really cool. If you're not really into doing the planting part of things, you can just focus on animal husbandry or raising livestock as you will. And that is an option as well. Sorry guys, I keep reaching over. I have this really amazing, amazing microphone and I can mute it by tapping it and I just don't want my whole entire stream just to be you guys listening to me being like <clears throat> <laughs> I just always wake up in the morning and I just sound awful I'm not sick I just have terrible sinuses and they are just trying to kill me that's all I know Oh man, it takes so long to take care of the field. But another thing that you could do is you could start with the animals first. So if that's more your thing, you could. Especially if you have a lot of animals, you might want to get them fed sooner than later. Because they probably will not appreciate being kind of left in the dark. <laughs> All right here. So we are gathering some crops that we can sell. That's good. I still have yet to find watermelon seeds. It's a lot of the similar stuff so far. Of asparagus and carrots. Those flowers, by the way, sell for a lot of money. Flowers are where it's at, people. We got pointy cabbage. It's a weapon. You need a permit for the pointy cabbage. That was a terrible joke. See, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I didn't mute myself that time. I'm so sorry you guys had to listen to me. <laughs> And we've created amazing fertilizer for our items. I haven't been really using it. I'm just kinda like, cool, fertilizer exists, it's a thing. <clears throat> All right, there you go. Hopefully you'll be done with that by the time I get this guy taken care of. I like that you just kinda pick up the chicken and then you hold them and then you put them down. You used to be able to pick them up, walk around with them, and do all sorts of stuff. Just making sure there's no hidden poo-poo in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go plant these seeds while they're eating because I do wanna take Lucky with me. It's gonna be a lot quicker to get to town and that's where we're gonna be heading next. And hopefully I'll use less stamina <laughs> so I don't end up dead. Um, not really dead, but you know what I mean. <laughs> all right, there we go. I always refill that. Sometimes I pay attention to how many I have left, sometimes I don't. All right, let's do this, buddy! My little chimkin, he's so tiny and cute. All right, let's do this. Yes, grow my ginkgos, grow! I'm really worried I made the mistake because since I can't cut them down, I'm worried that <laughs> I just screwed myself over. <laughs> With this whole ginkgo thing. Like if I can't cut them down when they're little, I hope that's just a default so you don't do stupid things like I almost did by cutting them down before you even can harvest them. <laughs> but I'm also wondering if the ginkgo wood is too hard and we still have to wait for the axe upgrade. And I am 110% on board with the axe upgrade. 
So I think that we have enough time in this recording to do what's needed of us in the holo holo when we check up on our home bro. But I do not think that we're gonna have time to go too crazy far. I'm hoping that we will indeed be able to get to the, um, we got a new kind of corn. I do hope that we'll be able to actually get to the desert biome in the next recording. So on the day that I'm recording this one, I am going to record that one as well. So that way, this this week when you guys are seeing it live time, uh, you'll actually get one of these videos on Tuesday and then you'll get another of these videos on Thursday. So my hope is that I can keep giving you these videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The only time I'll never be able to do that is if I get too busy. So I apologize for that. Ooh, is that a watermelon? I hope that counts. So this is a different plot of land. We cannot set up here. There is no robot to set up here, but you can get coffee beans from those trees. And it unlocks after a cutscene at some evening with our wonderful, wonderful characters. Let's go meet our friend. Hopefully we aren't too late. We aren't. Yay, we get the cutscene. I love cutscenes. <laughs> Hey, Ray. I was thinking about the whole sea deal. We cleaned up the area real nice and we tried fixing up the reef for the fish, but it's been for nothing. It's like all the fish just up and left. Aww. Sorry I don't have better news, especially after you were such a pal and went out of your way to help. But I ain't giving up. I'll make Halo Halo a first rate fishing spot again, even if it kills me. So don't sweat, Ray. I'll figure something out. Ha ha ha. Hmm. If Kanoa is right, fixing the pier should have brought the fish back. Poor Kanoa. No wonder if there's anything we're overlooking. Hmm. What could it be? Hmm. Mystery. Okay, maybe we could take a peek into the. Maybe we can take a peek. We do not have nearly enough stamina. We might pass out. Um, I need to stop passing out. My character deserves better than that. Okay. We have time. We have time before we close out. We can take a look at the arid desert. So as you can see, the desert has a lot of health effects. So our stuff already is dropping down. I just saw a farm plot of land we can do, but that's just to give you an idea. Um, it's very, very dangerous to go over there. I don't recommend it right now. I honestly happened upon it because I saw this bridge, I saw there was more places to go, and I thought it would be a really good idea. I'm not so sure that's a good idea now, <laughs> because it really almost completely destroyed me, and I don't want my character to pass out again, and I say that, but I should probably start heading back because I'm getting tired, and let's not pass out again! Good thing we brought our horse. Hopefully our horse doesn't eat up our stamina as quickly as just basic walking because I'm gonna laugh if we pass out again. But yeah, so that's a little bit of where we're at right now, you guys. I think that if we get a rainy day here, I'll go back to mining. Mining is actually super efficient, I think. There were only 10 floors on the first mine that we found. And I got to the 10th floor and there's this weird, weird, like, like pedestal thing going on. I wasn't really sure. It was really confusing and nothing happened. So it is what it is. And I'm not even mad at it. It was just so bizarre. Nice. Okay. What did we get? What is that? A blue watermelon? Blue melon. Dang, it's not a watermelon. <laughs> Shucks. Anyway, my hunt for the watermelon seeds will continue. And in the meantime, I'm going to be like doing all this stuff. Oh my gosh. I didn't call you. <laughs> I really love how Doc Jr. is like so ambiguous for character. Call me at the time of night. Have some consideration. So what's up? 
I'm all like, yo, the fish. <clears throat> did you try fixing the pier and cleaning up all the debris? Yeah, we did that, brah. Well, the sea is pretty clean. I would have expected the fish to return by this point. So that means there's got to be some other reason behind the deficiency fish. You think, Doc, Junior, that's what we're talking about, man. What's that smell? Coffee? What's that? Why do I smell like coffee? <gasps> What's that? Doc Jr. Coffee is the bean of life. Sweet, sweet bean juice. <laughs> What's all the fuss? I'm all like, oh my god, I have the thing. The relationship between mountains and the sea. Ah, book! Mmm. Rainfall and fertile forests washes a lot of nutrients into streams and rivers down into the sea. These nutrients are perfect food for fish, causing them to gather in large numbers. Hollow Hollow's jungle has very few trees, so that means the sea lacks nutrients. If there are no nutrients reaching the sea, it's no wonder that the fish aren't coming. <gasps> Eureka! We finally figured out the cause! Woohoo! Tomorrow will be a busy day. I'm going to bed too. Nighty night. <laughs> well, that's a perfect place for us to stop and leave you guys with a mystery to look forward to on Thursday. <laughs> yes, I can finally do a cliffhanger for people. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. As always, I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and safe. And if you like what I do, please hit that subscribe button. Share this with your family friends. Invite them to join us on these fun little journeys. You can also join the Discord in the link down below. If for any reason you have trouble with the Discord link, just let me know. Uh, I did actually have a very wonderful friend of mine let me know they had trouble with the Discord link and hopefully it has been fixed since then. And that will be down in the description box. We just are a really nice, simple, calm, small group of people. We play games together. There's also gaming news I try to feature when I'm not super busy. I have really, really wonderful administrators that help to run and make it more interesting because I am not very smart about Discord stuff. But yeah, I'd like to see you guys there. I'd love to hear your input, get more thoughts, and possibly even collaborate with you guys if you're also content creators. That's something that I'm really interested in doing, of course. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you on Thursday. Bye for now.